so what lens to use? It all depends on the type of photography you're trying to work on. Sometimes you want to uh, portray the place that you're shooting, you want to get all the scenery in there, you know, like if you have a beautiful town in the back and you want the wave uh, to be in a corner, but you want the city or the town to be in the photo too, then you're not going to need a long lens, of course, right? Because you want to have everything in there. If you just want to shoot the surfer and like focus more on his movements and on his body post posture, um, then you're, of course, going to need more of a wide angle. Um, for me, in particular, wide angles are great, but they distortion the wave, the size of the wave. Um, so I don't usually use that often. Um, I actually don't have any fisheye lenses, but there's um, many really great photographers that love using fisheye, and especially when you're shooting barrels, and like the surfer is inside of the wave, because then you can see the hole and you can feel you're in the barrel with the surfer. You can feel the wave covering you. Um, for me, my style, I do more of a natural look and I love to keep my images real. I want to portray to the viewer what I'm experiencing in the moment and make him feel like he's in there with me. So um, I try to use more of a 50 lens, you know, because that gives you uh, that feeling of just looking there. Like if you're watching a photo with a 50 lens, you feel like you're in the moment you see everything that the photographer is seeing and so that's one of my favorite lenses for surf photography because you get the whole wave you get um the size of the wave and you usually get something also of the scenery in the back so that's what i use but i have my 24 to 85 lens which is very versatile for me i usually use that one um, but sometimes I like using my long lens in the water too. I gotta say it's heavier and it's really hard to swim with that. Um, but the photos look amazing. It's a 70 to 200. So you can imagine if this is a 24 to 85, how big the other lens is and how heavy. So swimming with that is definitely a challenge and you have to be more careful with it. Cause I mean, in the water, this can even be, you know, like a danger to yourself because it can hit you, it can knock you out or um, yeah, it can not be as great. So you got to be uh, very careful when you swim out with a longer lens or a heavier gear. But the way uh, the wave and how it looks with that lens, it is amazing because you can be a little bit farther and you still feel like you're close to the surfer and to the wave. So. I use that for bigger waves where I don't want to be as close to the subject and I want to see it on the channel or the wave is really fast. So that way it gives me and allows me to be a little bit farther and still feel like I am there in the action.